Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends toy review on the X-Men series Iceman. Uh, this is technically not a Marvel Legends figure, but um, someone requested that I do a review on Iceman, and uh, I'm very happy to do it because there are a few Iceman figures out there to get. Uh, preferably, I, I suggest anybody uh, who's in the market for an Iceman to get either this Iceman right here or the Series 8 Iceman, which I actually do not prefer over this one. This one, I think, is actually the best Iceman figure there is. Um, and in that X-Men series, I believe there's like a few different versions of this. I guess this is supposed to be Ultimate Iceman, because there's quite a few other uh, Ultimate uh, X-Men figures in that toy line, um, along with the uh, white costume Storm. So um, the series I'm talking about has this looking box right here. So you can see there's a lot of uh, Ultimate, you know, Ultimate Nightcrawler, uh, the not-so-cool Colossus, and, you know, Extreme Rogue, so, I don't know. Oh, it has that Ultimate Sabretooth in there also. But, uh, yeah, because there is a variant version, or this may be the variant, I'm not sure, I'm sure someone's glad to correct me on that, but where he has the bandana, and he has a beanie. Uh, so that's, you know, very Ultimate Iceman. And, uh, check out Century Productions' review of this figure. He did a review of this back in February, and, um, so yeah, check his out. His actually has a black boxers instead, so I think his was a custom. But, uh, this figure is, has not been customized at all whatsoever. Um, let me get to the paint job, and in a minute I'm gonna bust out my Series 8 Iceman, which is busted. I don't know if I said that already. But uh, first off, one noticeable thing is the head uh, paint job is a little bit different from the rest of the body. Very, very uh, small difference. It's kind of, at first, you know, I, I couldn't really tell. But uh, this is more of like a silvery type of finish than this uh, than this whitened finish. Uh, but, I mean, the paint job is really, really, really cool. He's not so transparent, but uh, it's a solid light blue with uh, a lot of this reflective silverish type of paint on top of it so <clears throat> there's not a whole lot to say about it um you know when you hold it in person you could really see it and i you know i feel like i'm not doing the figure justice the lighting in here is kind of it's hard to it's hard to review this figure because you know daylight doesn't work and i tried uh using you know this dark blue backdrop to see if you could see it a little better like that yeah actually that helps yeah so you could see the detailing a little bit more it's a very silverish type of uh, paint job on there. Makes them very, look very uh, icy, <laughs> I guess. So, yeah, um, the articulation is fantastic. As Sentry said, they did use the uh, Silver Surfer mold. Um, the head moves pretty well. The head on mine is a little on the loose side, but uh, torso joint moves very well. And the paint job does not continue back into the upper torso area, so you can see where it kind of ends right there. Uh, he has double jointed, well, he has a single jointed shoulder right here, and he has a bicep joint, double jointed elbows, excuse me, uh, all right, and then a forearm joint, wrist joint moves up and down, and fingers clamp down together, okay? Other side, he has the Silver Surfer, you know, power cosmic blast going on right there, so. Uh, waist joint, he's got the ball joints in the legs. Double jointed knees, calf joint, uh, ankle joint doesn't really move, but moves up and down, doesn't move sideways, moves up and down, and he does have toe joints right there. And he does have holes in the bottom of his feet, which are actually quite obnoxious because they're too big to fit into like the sentinel bases and stuff. So that's kind of, uh, his, his uh, hole pegs at the bottom of his feet are kind of annoying, a little too big. Um, I'm going to put him aside right here and show you the base that it comes with. All right. So this thing is not really that cool to me. I don't really like it that much. I think this kind of sucks. I mean, it's okay, but um, I never really use it in my setups. It looks more like water to me, you know? It looks more like it'd be good for a Hydro Man figure. It uh, doesn't really look like ice. It looks more like water to me. So I'm not very fond of the base that he comes with. And <clears throat> I do set him up with the Series 8 Iceman base. Now this thing's kind of a pain in the ass. Just yesterday uh, I super glued it to the bottom right here. So this piece right here comes apart and this piece comes apart. So it's one, you see the line right there, two, and then three. So it comes into three separate pieces. But very, very cool base. I mean, I love these sentinel, these destruct, uh, these destroyed sentinel pieces that, you know, that came out. 
I thought that shit was brilliant. And I just got uh, this five tier shelf for my Marvel Legends, so I'm uh, so I'm getting my Marvel Legends all set up in my toy room or computer room, whatever. And I'm really excited about that. And let me show you my. This is actually my brother bought this figure. I feel really bad that I broke him, but um, it was purely accidental. He just fell straight forward and landed on his crotch. So, uh, there's his ass. Kind of sucks. But, um, so this is not a very <laughs> thorough review, but this is just so you can get a, you know, you can get an idea of the comparison from the torso on up. And, you know, the reason why I'm not very fond of this Series 8 Iceman figure is he's got weak shoulders and his head's kind of big and the face is kind of a little sickly looking, I guess. Um,. You know, my best friend told me he looks like powder. So, and he very much does look like powder to me. So, you know, you guys know who powder is. And, you know, the legs are supposed to be in here like this. So I guess he could be fixed, but he's missing his whole crotch area. So he's got, you know, the ass broke and this broke, you know, kept breaking as I was trying to fix him. So he's not really recoverable. The face does have some wear on it. But you can see the difference. I actually do prefer the texturing of the ice on him over uh, this X-Men Iceman, so I do think this looks a little cooler, but overall I have to go with this one. This guy is really the Iceman to get, uh, and he's easier to find too. I think you're going to end up paying a little bit more for this guy than this guy right here. So, yeah, that's my recommendation. Um, like I said, the, the hole peg, you know, on the Iceman Series Eight Iceman, he's got two hole pegs right here, and basically, you know, he's supposed to, you know, the way they show him pose, and I guess like the way, you know, you have both of his hands facing down, and he's standing up and doing this weird squat thing, you know. Um, I'm having my Iceman set up right now. I'm using that Saran Wrap again. Um, I'm really excited. I have I'm, have a, a third Sentinel on the way, and um, I'm not really looking at much here. But uh, the, the the whole peg, it's, it's, it's hard to set him up because the whole pegs are... You know, so I got him shooting the Sentinel kind of like that. I mean, it looks a little better than that when I set him up. But, you know, this thing works, you know. So what I recommend is taking this X-Men Iceman and putting him onto the uh, Series 8 uh, base. Okay, not much else to say. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll check you later. Peace.